Hello, my warriors for wellness. Freedom. Today is a five universal day, and that is the word that came to me, freedom. I had a yoga teacher that said whenever you were um, in a pose and there was a little bit of pain there, that was freedom calling. Is freedom calling in your life? Where's the pain? I'm a numerologist and studying astrology, Trisha Gumberg. I was just listening to astrologer Rick Levine, and he ta was talking about this new moon in Leo that occurred on the 18th and the power of it, the energy of it. Basically, what he, I'm going to sum up what he said. It's about freedom. And the seeds that you plant need to be in word form. So whether you do this subconsciously, like I just saw someone who I thought was a light worker um, posted some very awful things on a Facebook page and all she did was repeat what someone else said and I'm not even sure if it was the truth okay so if you the yesterday's message was to be thoughtful oh yeah now this is making sense why did I see the number five when I was thinking about the energy of the number four being thoughtful this is why because you can just unconsciously start planting seeds with your words or you can do it consciously you could be very aware of those seeds that you are planting and he said it needs to be planted in with words this is beautiful especially if you have a three in your numerology you may be doing this already put it down in words your new moon intentions and set your intentions with your heart. That's why we need to get our bobs in. He also says, um, place an emphasis on what you value. And he guarantees that this is not something somebody told you to do. Whatever your intentions are, whatever your big lofty goal is, whatever you want to accomplish, what you want in your life, what you love and value, no one has told you what that is. No one has given you advice as to what that is. Even I don't. I just give you guidance to help you figure that out for yourself. It needs to be out of the box and completely unorthodox. Okay, so go back. I'm going to be listening to myself tomorrow, re-listening to that. Plant the seeds in words. It absolutely must be out of the box and unorthodox. I'm getting excited about this. And it can't be something someone told you because we're talking about the number five, which is about freedom. Freedom to say yes to who you are. Freedom to follow what is in your heart. Let's see if we need any clarity. I'm getting a yes. Help me out. Get your bobs in. Movement. Movement. Oh, those of you who have been working out, increase your duration to 80 minutes. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I've been slacking on my hiking time. I've been shaving minutes off of it. So that's your subliminal message for that. Movement. Um, we get a lot. I do. I get distracted. I shouldn't say distracted. My, my brain goes to you know, looking for, you know, downloads for what I'm going to post. And then I, I'll stop my walk and I'll make a note or I'll look something up. And so, yeah, I need to increase my walking time goal. Thank you for that. All right. And let's get some clarity. Oh, 
Oh, those of you who want to give your love to Rick Levine, his name is spelled L-E-V-I-N-E. -E. And he's he actually did this. I was going to say, I've never heard him talk about the new moon energy before, but he has, I think, Patreon, and he doesn't share all of his videos on YouTube, so this was a special treat. So go love on Rick. Um, he's been studying astrology long, maybe longer than I've been a lot. Maybe not. <laughs> I have to remember how old I am now. Hmm. What's in here? Master teacher and your priorities. Well, choice. See, freedom. And you do I need to read beyond that, right? You have the freedom to make choices. Decisions and commitment. What do you want to commit to? Write it down. For every new admission, relationship and experience you seek at this time there's a commitment in place that must be eliminated to make way for the new okay well that's just a reminder i'm getting some hard clicks if you are i'm really feeling a lot here if you're going to write down these new moon intentions just like i had the example of increasing my walk time um, what am I going to do? I'm going to do 10 minutes less of something. So what is that? And just decide what it is. 10 minutes less of watching TV. I don't know. If you're watching me, are you, do you watch TV? I don't know. Um, scrolling on your phone. I'm not sure where, where um, you can shave some um, time off. Okay. What, this made me think of something. Okay, Rick uh, also said, understand that these seeds that you're planting, they're going to take a while for you to see them come to fruition. And you got to be okay with that. Uh, you might want to start a daily practice of rewriting those intentions or just viewing those intentions or some sort of action that would just remind you and the universe, I know this is coming. Um, I know, like uh, like Rick, he didn't just start doing YouTube uh, videos and then the next week start a Patreon page and charge people, um, I think it's very reasonable, like three or five dollars, I think a month, um, to follow him on his Patreon. It, it, this does not happen overnight. So if you're like, oh, I would love it if I had a Patreon account and people would pay and come um, just a few dollars a month. Passive income, right? You make one video and people come. This does not happen overnight. This is a long-term commitment of producing videos. I'm talking to myself now. For a long time, getting your craft on. We talked about that yesterday. Becoming a master at something in order for you to use it in the future. So that's this is so powerful, this new moon. I didn't realize how powerful it was and how much freedom it's going to give you if you could just allow yourself to think out of the box. Mm, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down. I'm gonna... Okay, thank you for listening. May you use the energy of the number five to create the freedom that you want. I love you so. Until next time.